the title is uh, now a uh, church without mission. Church without mission or subtitle will be compassion 2.4 because we're 2024 just for this. Okay. Okay. I am a little relaxing because it's the second uh, preaching today and so I want to uh, uh, really uh, speak with you very easy because the message will be easy. All the gospel is easy. All the truth is easy. And so um, I will speak with my best, <laughs> best English from Irish. <laughs> Irish English. Uh, because I truly believe uh, that he wants me to tell you about the most important and the fundamental basic thing the on the top of everything without which nothing makes sense or cold stand um, I know you you are here like I don't know if you are only believer or disciple because it's different is uh, absolutely sure that believer is not uh, a, a disciples is believers but you become disciples when you follow real Jesus not only if you believe is it different is about this different is very big and so I will speak to each of you or believers <laughs> or disciples because uh, my assignment correct okay is to be a reformer I, I i don't like to do that because uh, many times uh, the reformer is a very not um, in sympathy with the people but uh, and uh, as apostle apostle is no strong word but is a uh, as assignment is a reformer uh, is uh, an architect who put the the, the base or to make a direction and so um, now very often we believe that we are whole reformers no conformist anti-religion but sadly we discovered that we are often conformed to a new religious culture new is we are modern, we jump, we shout out, or uh, shout, but not radically renewed, reformed. And therefore, we cannot in turn renew and reform. Uh, I'm not speaking uh, about um, adjustment or of the religious mentality, but a total change a replacement of a mentality is a new mentality if you are uh, born again you uh, have to take a new mentality it's not just adjustment not is like um, uh, something uh, different uh, like a culture but another mentality uh, are you with me? No, because I can see. You say no escape. No, you are here. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. And so, I want to read. In uh, if you can show, the, please, the, the the scripture because I reading in uh, King James version is uh, four hundred years ago, and so Luke chapter nineteen. Verses 10. Okay, no, no, Mark wanted. Luke 19, verses 10. Okay, this is easy. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Okay. Um, listen very careful uh, to different words. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that, not who, that, 
debt which was lost. What was the reform that Christ tried to bring in spite of the religious people of his time? This is a question. Because the problem is what kind of authority did Christ exercise? Because if we are his disciples, we have to walk like he like his walk. Okay. Um, the problem is to understand this simply and strong in the same time thing. What? If you understand what, you can understand for who works this what. It, 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 it makes sense? Okay, thank you. Um, let me read Mark now, chapter 1, verses 22. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he told them as one that had, had authority, and not as the scribes. It's not only words, not only open his mouth just to play a sound of voice, but authority. His mouth opened with authority. Which kind of authority? Why was he different? Why make different? John chapter 7 verses 45. Then came the officer of the chief priest and the Pharisees, and they said unto them, Why have you not brought him? The officers answered, Never. Say with me, never. never. Men spoke like this man. This is the last, uh, only the introduction to understand the, the, the topic of this word today. This word works. So, sorry. Okay. What was the difference between Jesus and other religious people? The substance and not just the appearance. Substance. The substance. He had true pity. And not just the form of pity. Not just appearance. Second Timothy is very dangerous. The biggest risk for us or for everybody colored Christians is this. Listen to this. Second, uh, Second Timothy chapter 3 verses 5. It is having a form, a form of godliness form but the the denying the power denying the power uh, is said therefore from such turn away okay the problem if you uh, have to reflect for this is having a form and not a power form and the power form against a power soul against the spirit do you understand uh, my, my english okay and so what is the difference between jesus and the pharisees what is the difference between me and the religious people even for you what is the difference what mark this strong difference the name is compassion the word is compassion uh, uh, I, I, I'm not joking but this word works compassion I want to read the, not in the Bible but in uh, Wikipedia what means compassion compassion 
literally means to suffer together. Suffer together. Together. No alone. Together. Suffering together. Um, among emotion researchers, re researchers, sorry, compassion is the finest as the feeling that arises when you are confronted, confronted with someone's suffering and feel motivated to relieve that suffering. Not only feeling, but this feeling move your feet to remove, to relieve that suffering. And so this is not only feeling, but this is action. Do you understand? Only Ludumila understand me. Okay, sorry, sorry, because I heard the in other words, a feeling of deep sympathy and sorrow for another who is striken by misfortune accompanied by a strong desire to alleviate the suffering. Do you understand? Okay. If you read all the gospel, all the, um, 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 the motivation that moving our Lord, our Jesus, is compassion. I want to read just uh, two or three um, uh, verses of uh, Matthew and Mark because this word is very clear to understand for us. Matthew chapter 9, verses 36, 36. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved. He was moved with compassion. With compassion on them. Because they fainted and the were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. If you understand well this word, whole, this is alpha and omega. This is the beginning in the hand. We are in the middle and never forget this word. Um, um, Matthew chapter 14, Verses 14 is the same reason, but the, uh, the different uh, happened. This, and Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion toward them. And after compassion, after this uh, uh, started his soul and spirit, healed, he healed they're sick. Not for uh, only passion or um, something different, uh, uh, religions, culture. No compassion. This is his motivation. And uh, you can read in Matthew chapter 15 uh, that Jesus called his disciples, not only. Uh, the, the Savior or the Jesus move, but they just force his disciples unto him and said, I have compassion on the multitude. Do you remember when they uh, uh, multiply bread and fish? For compassion. They disciples lose compassion. They say, I don't care for compassion. I am compassion for myself. I am hungry. Well, what do you want in the people? 10,000 people, how, how much the price of bread? It's for, absolutely crazy for us. But compassion can solve it. What the crazy, this is the reason, absolutely option. Do you understand? I try to do the best. In, in um, Matthew chapter 18, verses 27, 
because th this is absolutely the base of our movement. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion and loosed him and forgave him the debt. All, all is around compassion. All the, 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 the kingdom spread compassion. All the word of God is come from compassion. Do you, are you with me? Okay. And Mark is the same. And Jesus moved, moved with compassion, put for his hand, and touched him, and said unto him, I will be too clean. Okay. We must see Christ. See and understand the love that we need to have for the lost. Uh, you, you, you can read uh, um, not only in the gospel or in the New Testament. Because the same, the same um, goal is in, in the Old Testament. Okay. The word of God is the same from Genesis until Revelation. But he showed us the real compassion. No, like feeling that real compassion through his son and his love, supernatural love for us. The name in Greek, the word is different. Feeling of love. Many times we, um, we call it love what, what call is not. It's the only feeling. Because the, the real supernatural love is the only uh, come from Lord or the kingdom is agape. Ag agape is unconditional love. It's I love because it's not other option. I love because I am love. Uh, uh, um, Jesus said, is that you have to love the people without reason. Many, uh, all the people in the natural, we love other we love. Okay, we love for the, a reason. I love you because you are beauty. I love you because you have money. Uh, I love you because you are Irish. Because uh, I love you because you are uh, 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 Sicilian. I love you because you are in, in, in English. Sorry, sorry. Because you are uh, you are European. Okay, it's better. Okay. Uh, natural love, love for the reason. Without reason, I stop to love. This is not love. Uh, okay, fix this is in your mind. I just uh, try to explain that a bit. Uh, in, in the parable of uh, Good Samaritan, which of the characters mentioned look like us? Do you remember? Okay. Many times we are worried with church activities. And uh, we forget about compassion. We are so focused on the activities or committants, sorry. And uh, many times forgive why, the motivation. The motivation is not to do something. And for what I am doing something. In this part is just a response. This part is uh, just the leaping. No. Okay. Sympathy is one thing and compassion is another. One comes from soul. Compassion comes from spirit. Of course, we are soul and the spirit. But we was born naturally in the soul. But we was born again in the spirit. And so this balance is in your hands. This is your choice. Every day. Who decided in you? Spirit or soul? 
Okay. If you uh, remember the story when uh, Jesus met uh, Simon a, a leper or uh, um, um, another like, like Zacchaeus and uh, the, the, the people doesn't understand what's happening. Because uh, he had uh, Simon, for example. Um, Simon, uh, during uh, the meeting in his house, maybe he had passion for God, for Jesus, for Torah. But passion is something that serves and gratify yourself, you. For example, uh, 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 I, I, uh, I have a really passion for, uh, for the Guinness. <laughs> smile, smile. Just a little. This is, uh, I, I can. Uh, I, uh, forgive me for this uh, sin. I, I, I have a passion for, um, for my Sicily, for my Highland. I have passion for the beauty. I am patient for the scuba diving. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I am patient. This is passion. Many times you, you, you say, I love the pizza. I love the soccer. I love the sun. I love my island. I love my island. Not love. I like pizza. I, 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 lo I love my people. But I like my nation. The like love is different. It makes sense, this? And so, the passion, many times you confuse it, passion with compassion. But passion without compassion is illegal in the kingdom of God. Because passion is a form of of selfish. Passion is for, for me. My passion. My passion. What is legally recognized in the kingdom in, in the kingdom of God? What is legal? Passion for compassion. Passion for the salvation of souls. Do you remember what I just read about Jesus? Jesus moving for compassion, not for only passion. Do you remember? And so, our passion must become compassion. We are moving, myself, yourself, through, you can start with passion. Of course, passion for the Bible, for passion for uh, the story of uh, uh, Jewish. Uh, okay, it's okay to know the wisdom. But if you passion don't become compassion, do you have a problem? Kingdom have a problem in the earth. Listen to this. Matthew chapter 5. Very famous scriptures in the gospel. Matthew chapter 5, uh, started to 13. It's very famous. You are the soul of the earth. But, but, ha, but, if the salt, the risk, if the salt loses its saltness, how can it be made salty again? It's no longer good for anything. Say with me, anything. Except <laughs> to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the lighthouse. You are the light of the world. A town built on hill cannot be hidden. Okay. And so, neither do people light a lamp and put 
it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone. Say with me, everyone in the house, on the, in our environment. In the same way, in the same way, let your light shine. Let your light shine before others that they may see, that may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Our Father is in heaven. You are in the heart. Let the kingdom come. How the kingdom reveal itself in the heart? Through your soul and light. What is soul and light? Is motivation. Is goal. Is compassion. Is love. He showed us who God, nobody see God, but the Son of God revealed his Father, the God. And the God is love. And so the kingdom is the kingdom based on the supernatural love. Listen to this. What is the biggest risk in the now for the church, for the Christianity? Reveal your revelation. <laughs> in Revelation chapter 2, verses 4, this is really the biggest risk. is losing your first love. Why they call it the first? Because for first time, you receive it with Jesus, one kind of love that you cannot find in the heart. And so this is first. This is the first and the last in the same times. This is Alpha and Omega. The first love. If you lost this love, this brings judgment if you read the context of uh, in, in uh, 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 Ephesus, what talking about. And so, only in Christ you know and you experience the real love. Okay, the question is, how can you receive this supernatural love? Because in the natural, it's absolutely uh, miss. You, you, you can, you can't uh, looking for this kind of love in the no believers or in uh, natural our soul and body. But if you read the Roman chapter five verses five, this is a solution. Um, and hope does not put, uh, uh, okay, and hope does not put us to shame because God's love, tell me, uh, uh, say with me, God's love, God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. If you receive it, the Holy Spirit is not for only speak tongues or to move in a, a Pentecostal culture. The first gift that you receive it with the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit is His love. It's, you make in your mind very clear. If you receive it, genuine Holy Spirit, you receive 
all inclusive. All inclusive is first reveal to myself is supernatural love for first time. I don't know uh, for you, but for me, when I was born again, I uh, was 14 years, 14 years. Um, more than uh, 44 years ago. And for first time, I feel in myself one strong and big and warm love. For first time, I received a really, um, really uh, embrace, cover my soul, my pain, my healing. I, I, I felt really happy, but not happy. The, the, I, I, I can't explain what I felt in my soul. And it was the Holy Spirit come upon me and fill me with ease, uh, supernatural love. And uh, um, when I rece receive and uh, accept Christ, I become like him. I become because he put in myself his self, his spirit, the same spirit which was upon my Lord, my Savior, now is in me and you if you are born again. Are you with me? And so, the, the Jesus said, or Apostle Paul, all, all, all the Bible uh, uh, just described as, is, uh, Jesus walked in the compassion. Now I can walk in the same compassion. And show his compassion to everybody. Because it's not culture. I know, turn on and off. I, I can, I can turn on and off. If I use my soul, I can turn off the spirit, of course. But if I understand that my, uh, my, my, my entire life is walking in the spirit. Because in uh, Romans chapter 8, the, um, the, the Apostle Paul say, the real son of God leading from the Holy Spirit. And so the Holy Spirit, the first, um, um, the, the, the first gift that I receive it is His love. Not my love, His love. And so I can love the people with His love. This is a light. This is a salt. This is a wisdom. I take my decision. This is my decision. This is your decision. Which kind of feeling or real love do you want to share the people? If you decide, if you um, understand deeply inside yourself that the people miss this love. If you read Matthew chapter 24, the biggest risk. And uh, uh, Jesus uh, just showed in, uh, in advance because this is the risk on the end time. In the end time, if you can put uh, um, uh, Matthew chapter 20, because of the increase of the weakness, the love of the most will grow cold. The most of most. You are in this kind of risk. You are at risk. Are you with me? I am in this risk. Because I'm walking uh, in the street, I see the, 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 the television, I see um, the influencers, I see politicians. Uh, uh, the, the world is uh, against each other. The problem is uh, to receive not from the Holy Spirit, but the spirit of the world or the heart. And so the problem is the 
weakness, the love of most will grow cold, become cold. And so, if the salt loses its flavors, how can you make it salty again? This is the risk. Our assignment is to put light and salt. Put plus salt is wisdom. And wisdom in the kingdom is his love. To share his love. And his love for us is compassion. Moving with the compassion. Listen to this. What do you need salt for? They make, in the Greek translation, the word, the word uh, salt, when become flowerless, is moraino. The word moraino means stupid. Sorry. No, no. This is a significant of the translation. And so the risk is that you and me can become stupid. Christians, stupid. Stupid Christians. Christianism. Christianism. Without compassion is real, very stupid. The question is, what is missing in Ireland, in Europe, and the world world at this time? What is missing? Is missing true love and compassion of Christ. And Christianity is definitely done uh, under the land. Like a salt. And the people walk upon Christianity. This is our risk. True love and compassion. Our mission is to make a difference and bring into the environment where we are and live the atmosphere of heaven on heart. This is the Great Commission.